Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Raben Schild and you can see some things happened here. Um, <laughs> I've set up a cargo container and put the ship on top to make it easier to unload it. And then I changed a bit with the rover and you can see that definitely has a different color now and we will go over that in a second. And then I started to uh, lay out some things. Mm. It's not perfect yet, but I'm going off of one picture that I found about the first Dune game and my Arakeen will kind of be in that style because it's just, I don't know, you just see one really weird perspective of if If I can find it, I will, uh, if I can grab it, uh, I will just, and don't forget it, I will just put it in here and then we can continue on because again the, the the perspective is really weird i will have to kind of make up my mind um we talked a bit about colors and tan color is definitely a thing i want to go for i want to go with tan and maybe blue so we will go with with sand color and then maybe a bit of brown and then also this blue it's a bit brighter than the usual blue that we use the thing is that i kind of want to go with also a grayish blue for the palace not sure how that works out yet and again this palace is something i'm not sure how how it will work out because it might be crazy big and I might want to try to keep it smaller and not go too crazy because it's just, don't know, at one point we lose the the usefulness of the whole thing, kind of. The, the, the whole thing then ends up being just a showpiece and that's something I'm, I'm not good with. Um, we will, we will see how, how that works out. I have some some things that I want to build extra and we might go a bit fancier. <laughs> we have to see. Um, I need some more materials and um, I was already back at the ship to grab some things and uh, mainly some equipment that I didn't have down here and that we kind of have to start building up. For now, I will maybe go with something a bit more janky and uh, really improvised. And later then uh, fill maybe stuff up in the palace um, and see how we can integrate production there. We will, we will have to see. Um, let me just go and show you the uh, the rover for a second. I found a picture while I was searching for um, Dune inspiration. Someone said I need to take a look at the desert of Karak, so the homeworld thing, starting base. Haven't done that yet. We'll do that definitely and then maybe that's a huge inspiration. But I found a picture of a rover, and I'm not sure if it was Desert of Carrick or if it was Dune. They kind of throw that in with each other. And that had basically this cockpit and then everything. And so I changed that out, lost the first cockpit because I had added far more down and the, the rover hopped over. Uh, uh, one of these creases in the in the terrain and just it smashed the cockpit and so it, I just flew out it was amazing so I made this this bumper here so that I hopefully don't use lose the cockpit every time um, I've integrated the fluid battery mod now or it, it is in there for all the time but I now brought in the stuff to do that. That was the equipment I was missing. 
and I brought in some of the fluid and I think we will definitely use that more down here. Um, Dune is not very specific with what power sources they use and there might be reactors but I don't know I think the idea to have solar power and wind power and then go with something like that could be a neat idea and we will see how that works out for flying machine uh, flying machines this one again this one st will stay the way it is right now um, I want to plonk down the first a test bed for something I want to build at one point uh, the ornithopter uh, maybe we start with that today so that I can work with it more later and then it's it's always one of the things I want to start something so that I'm able to to test it out and make changes and then maybe we take a look at it later so um, the base again the whole palace thing will will be a project that I develop over time and um, oh what was I searching for? I'm searching for landing here. I need the fluid battery. Then I need a connector. Uh, the palace will be something, again, that I, I try to keep uh, working on. So, don't know. You, you might expect that, or you might have to see and take a look if... What changes over time? What what things I, I I will add to it? It will go a bit higher. Um, I have no clue for the top yet, and it will go a bit wider on the flank of this mountain here. Um, to kind I, again, there's so much I want to integrate, but there's so. When it comes to that, the inspiration is not really big. And uh, or not the inspiration, the material that I can use for it is not really, really all all lot there. Um, I took a look at the palace from the Children of Dune, um, and that is just a square thing with pyramids on the on the corners. Was not too inspired by that. Although it, it had one thing it really had that was really cool was there's a, a, basically a town around it. Um, then um, the whole palace thing from the Dune movie that came out 84, not 86, like I said. Uh, someone, someone corrected me there. Um, had a weird golden structure that looked a bit like a T and then some buildings around it and something built into a free spire it it, it looked weird um the the whole thing there is that that's something um, where I'm not too what I'm not too crazy about uh, it's the 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 style for the for again the 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 harvester and the the carry all looked really cool in my opinion the ornithopter didn't and also the the buildings and the interiors no, no, not not a thing i i like but that's okay that's completely okay i can absolutely deal with that good the ornithopter will be just a scout vehicle, so it will not have any crazy, uh, crazy, uh, what to say, uh, cargo capabilities or something. And it will be a single, a single seater. The the ornithopter in the picture. You by the way you can see that it or can can take a look back. The the picture that I hopefully threw up also has an ornithopter in it, and so um, you can take a look at that if you want. 
Okay, these are the fluid batteries. You can see they have ports. So there's something that needs to go into them. And that is the, the charged fluid that you can put in. I want to use the gravitic manipulators here because I don't want to have any thrust on the outside of this thing. And the gravitic manipulators are just crazy powerful and you should I should be able to just stick them on. Everything should work and then um, the, the rest then is can be just um, how to say an optic thing. <laughs> You can just, you can just, I can just add things around it and to make it look nice uh, without uh, it needing to be functional. And that, that might be a, a theme with the ornithopter that we have there. We, we will see how, how that thing works. It could be that it, 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 that it ends horrible. So conveyor, I need the small conveyors. I'm not even sure if, if that's enough power for everything. The, it could be that the gravitic manipulators are just too crazy when it comes to power usage. Okay, interior. Interior plates. I'm missing at the moment the built-in repair system. And I have to admit, I don't really miss it right now. So it could be that this changes. But for now, I have to say I'm I'm pretty happy with it. the The whole playing playing on more on on the server kind of made me made me like that a lot more. It's it's a weird thing. I'm uh, I have to say that that I really like welding up stuff by hand. And oh, what's that? Oh, armored conveyors, and uh, not what I was searching for. Not what I was searching for. Conveyors, conveyors. Where are they? These are the normal small tube conveyors. That's what I was searching for. Okay. I'm not sure if I can fill that up yet. Uh... I have to see. That's another thing I should build. Maybe. Do I have enough power for that? Uh, let me take a look. Fluid battery. Okay, come on. So you go here. Fluid and computers. Okay. Do I have? I have enough material for that. So um, I'm just putting that on there so that the fluid material that is this stuff, the N, I, I think it stands for nickel metallurgy or something like that. Um, I, I hope that, <laughs> that there's something better in the future than that. Um, and. Metal was it? Would it be, be metal hydrate? For us, it is nickel metal hydrate, and I'm not sure if 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 that is the same in English. Um, good. We can set this up to just charge the whole material. So charging mode, we will just recharge. We will auto refill. And it's if we go into the charger mode. Uh, I switched on this battery tries to recharge an, an empty energy fluid by pulling empty fluid from a grid and pushing charged fluid out. So it will hopefully keep the fluid then charged. And the auto refill is, I, I think, if switched on the battery tries to refill itself. Yeah, it will just pick that up. Um, the question is, question is, do we have max required input 12 megawatts? Okay, that's a lot. 
That's a lot. Okay, the, we, we might have to... Might have to wait for it a bit. Um, can we pull that in? Hope, I hope I have... Yes, I hope I have put on the right port. Good. So now you see this, this will charge this very, very slow. Current usage, 39 grams. Um, time left, two hours, energy fluid charge. Current output. No, you're not supposed to output. You're supposed to recharge that stuff. Discharge. That's weird. It should not... <sighs> it charges that stuff. This is empty. This is charged. Okay, then I will just set it to auto and just wait. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, we, uh, we might have to put more more um, wind turbines up. So these things, by the way, also work. Uh, you can see that they slowly, slowly produce more ice. That, that, yeah, we need to put up more of these at one point. Good. Uh, maybe I will put a battery on here just to kickstart it, kind of. Um, but we will see first. What I want to do is put this here and then maybe this and I want to go up a bit before I put on these blocks. Um, so as you could see, again, you could always, you can always go back, the, the ornithopter has a bit a thing on the top and on this thing there are wings and that's one thing I definitely want to um, kind of have on this ornithopter. I'm not sure if it, it is achievable in any way and if that works <laughs> it could end up very very badly. But as a test we will definitely try to do that so for I want to put a cockpit on just so I can see kind of the the dimensions um, cockpit. oh I could no 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 don't go don't go too crazy right now. Okay, the cockpit is relatively big, so this this doesn't look too too crazy up here. Maybe I can cut off the top part. Maybe I can cut off the top part and then have the let's start. Okay, what we would need now is some rotors that would move the wings. And what we would need is some timers to kind of have an up and down motion for these. Um, and that's just... Uh, that's just something I'm not sure how to how to achieve right now. Okay, let us go and have something like th this is just too high. This doesn't work. Um, let me take a look at my picture and I will see how I can emulate that. I will just move it into this thing here. The, <laughs> the picture doesn't show any... Again, it's it's a very old picture from a very old PC game. It doesn't show any 
real kind of mechanical linkage. So it's hard to say that's how it would be done. And so I kind of have to wing it. Um, man, and I went on another kind of picture run to see more to see more pictures of Eric Keane and of anything the, the, I completely forgot the golden structure I think in the in the 84 movie that was a ship I think that was the imperial something uh, because the, the it, it, it is just visible in the last scene and uh, or in the last scene in the in the battle scene in the end and there the emperor is visiting so it's 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 wild it's really wild the whole thing okay and i think we will try to use rotors rotors could be too slow for everything so i'm i'm not sure if if that works out but but at least i want to try so rotor um, go with the normal ones and I hope is it set up to zero uh, it it's not oh, with these would you please please show me I'm an old man can't see is good anymore 270 0 Should be this or And then this And this yeah now I think it would be great to have uh Now it would be great to just have the build and repair system so question is how do we do it i think blast blast or blocks would be appropriate here and again, this uh, this is just one set of wings why are you turning shouldn't be turning uh, so, so i need a battery to just jump start this here um do I have maybe for a reactor for now or can I grab some of the material and just try to dump it in maybe that works too come on and what happens that works give me enough materials for a cockpit so I can see metal grids Display on bulletproof glass and displays. So I can see how much power we have for now. Two years. <laughs> That's definitely enough. Um, I want to bring all the rotors back to. Um, is that? That is three. That is two. Okay. Okay. Two is right. And this is left. Okay, so right. We will go down. We will go down. 45 and up 45 so this upper limit this is not this is 45 and minus 45 okay and you have it the other way around lower limit minus no. It is... Oh, 
this is minus 45 and yeah it's the same it is the same just we the the how it is fitted to everything is different uh, let's test that I also kind of want to see how fast this reacts can we please bring this back to zero left and right so this current angle is zero this one is 100 so you reverse and you go and do that with zero point five let us just reverse that so it goes back to zero that would be interesting so I don't I don't run into problems there I wanted it I want it in a in the default position kind of and we'll just rotor lock it so it doesn't uh, move out of it too crazy too crazy okay that is locked um, I think I will lock the other one too just because I can um, <laughs> one thing that that I really like but on the other hand kind of gets to me is the constant wind the wind noise is amazing it is amazingly cool but when you play on your own i don't know in the evening the room might be dark <laughs> and it is a bit unnerving especially when you fly up there's for some reason there's different sounds intermixed with it that sounds like sound like the wind is don't know um blowing over pipes or if there's any if there's don't know any animals that howl <laughs> it's it's crazy and these seem to be from air traffic i'm i'm not sure if i if i want to get rid of that um i have i'm considering to not have that to to not have things flying around here but other people said hey that gives an opportunity to just have guns on everything again to to maybe shoot down things so so we will see how that how that works out for now again i want to do other things than than just the just concentrate on the no that's wrong eight to just concentrate on whatever is flying there Okay, then maybe we go and add another another set here blast door. Again, at least I want to know how fast that might be. The the thing is that timers uh, timers have, I think, a delay of at least one second. And that might not make for good flappy wings. So that's something we have to take a look at. Three. Three. So, okay. Let us see. Can we get closer to it? No, we can't uh, okay then let me do something weird here so, okay uh, wings and save and then we <laughs> I want to see it. I want to have that thing still locked to the ground, but I want to see what's happening there. So we will have to improvise there a bit. So, and a button. Okay. Groups, wings, and reverse. So, 
F. Now the rotor left it's unlocking, and this will also be unlocked. Okay, this one points down, that's good. And this one doesn't point in any direction. Um, 0 0.5 is not enough, I know. That will be a really, a really slow change. So we might want to make it a lot faster. Is this minus? Minus three point five and my plus three point five. I hope that doesn't break off anything. Come on. Still not fast enough. But at least it flaps. It really flaps. Okay, K. Okay. We need to go faster. Uh, let's just go for an extreme. Or not for an extreme. For something I feel is extreme. But it might not be enough. Nine. Still not enough, so... Okay, then... All out. Minus 30. And that seems to be... That seems to be, at least from the, the way the, the slider moved, that seems to be a lot crazier. I think I will go crazier. So, double that. Okay, it needs to be. Okay, I can just go with the maximum. And, and then 60. Okay, we, we are now at the maximum, so there is no way we can get that faster in any way. And I think that's good. The question is, is that um, how well will a timer react to that G? And we try that out. Timer. Um, the thing is, we want to f kind of have the full movement. But on the other hand, uh, G, no, K... Uh, one. Ah, okay. So you have a delay of one second. And then you start. No. You. Come on. Set of actions. You start timer block one. And start that, and you also activate group this in reverse. And now K, K, timer block to delay of one second set of actions. You activate timer block one and start that, and then you go and reverse this. And now you start. That's very slow. Question is, can we get that faster? I think one second is is the the is the only way we can go. We could say trigger now. The question is... 
Hmm. Set up action. Then we go and say trigger now. You go and say the directions. Trigger now. And you trigger now. Okay, it now. <laughs> it, it, it does something. It definitely does something. Hummingbird, like I would say, it it could it could look really nice. It could look really nice. Give me a sec. But I'm pretty sure that's not an effect I want. Um, what if if I say you uh, don't trigger now, you start. Okay, that's also, um, the, the thing is, I thought that maybe it gives it a bit more, a, a bit more time in between cycles, at least one second, but it doesn't. So, I, we, we are sitting, we are definitely sitting on the, the whole relatively slow, happy motion. Sadly. Sadly, that's what we have. Um, I will have to reduce the bottom, by the way. So, this one has, has uh, the top range. Uh, right is the, if it goes down, it goes into the upper limit. So we go to 20 and here it is the lower limit that gets that gets reduced minus 20. Um has to do with I don't want um the the wings to you see the wings kind of go flatter now. I don't want them to crash into the ground when I when I do that it's nice for the it's nice for just the the motion we will have to see how that influences the flight mechanics but yeah that, I think that's that's all that's all for now um, you, you can see how what what I'm thinking what we should do with the ornithopter uh, the ornithopters in the series, there's a, again different different uh, materials to that. The the one from the from the film just had two wings where the turbines kind of were integrated. Then the again you saw the picture from the first Dune game. It it had definitely flappy wings. Then I have a book about um, sci-fi illustrations. Um, and there's also ornithopters with uh, flappy wings in it. It's basically uh, illustrations for all the big sci-fi uh, um, sci-fi books. So there's no Star Trek or Star Wars in there, but there's Dune in there. There's uh, the um, Trantor, so the whole Isaac Asimov stuff, Rama, Ringworld, all these things. There's uh, illustrations in there. In, in German it's I don't know how it's called in English in German it, it is under it. the translation would be under Strange Suns and it's it, it's a nice book old but nice bought it for a few bucks on eBay because my original copy was lost ah <sighs> yeah and there's there's also flappy flappy wing ornithopters in there so the other the next pair of wings I will try to use rotors to um, flip them a, a bit back, lock the rotors down here in place, and then have the other wings just point a bit back so uh, they can. They, it looks my, maybe a bit nicer. <laughs> but okay, people. That's all for today, I would say. Hope you liked 
the episode. If you have an idea how I could make that faster, then maybe let me know. Half a second would be nice, because I think it seems to be absolutely, um, absolutely okay if it would be, uh, if it would be a bit faster. <laughs> Good people, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, hope, to, hope you liked the episode. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I hope to see you in the next one. See you guys.